thanks for joining me to color today we are going to be working on this adorable magnolia image called on the road tilda isn't she cute i love her outfit just adorable i will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies i used i would love for you to come shopping with me if you have a question make sure and leave me a comment and i will get back to you otherwise i have already stamped my image on nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with memento tuxedo black ink so let's color so let's start out by giving it a background. So for that, we're going to use BG01, triple zero, quadruple zero, and the colorless blender. I'm going to start with my BG01, and I'm going to put some, I'm going to do a dotty background this time. So I'm going to put some little dots where I want, this is the darkest color, so I'm going to put it where I want there to be more shadow, or where there will be more shadow. So and there's a little bitty space right here um, in between our hand and the bike. And then let's do a few underneath of her hair. And maybe up here. And let's do underneath this bow. And let's see, how about over here underneath of her hair and her chin? And some underneath this flower basket. Okay, and then I'm going to add some BG000. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, only now I'm going to add it all over. So let's go in here, and we wanna put a few in between here on the spokes in the bicycle. Do the side before I forget. And then I'm just gonna work my way around. So let's start the dot, so right here. And I'm just gonna go up and down and tap my pin onto the paper. And the faster you go, the smaller my dots are. It may be different for you. And I also go over the spots where I already put some. And so you want to, I try to go fast so my dots aren't huge because the longer your pen sits on the paper, the bigger your dots are going to be. Let's go right around like this. We just want to go all the way around. And I don't go too far out. Out here a little bit. And back around these cute little flowers in her basket. Here, maybe put a couple in there. And down here towards the tire. Okay. And then we're going to grab BG quadruple zero. And we're going to just do the same things. So we're just going to go, I'll turn it around here. I'm going to go, I'm just going to start over here. But let's do a few right here in the bicycle wheel before I forget. And let's do a couple of these spaces. And then we're just going to go right around. Adding a few more, making sure to dot into the dots we already put down. And you can put as many or as few dots as you would like. And I try to bring these out just a little bit, the lightest color, out here into the area out here away from the girl a little bit more. And then we want to go back down here to where we stopped. And then I take my colorless blender, and it, this will work best if your colorless blender is wet. And if it's drying out, you might want to refill it and then start. So I'm going to just go, and I do it first so I don't have to worry about going over the girl, but I'm just going to go over all these dots. And just go back and forth and kind of smush them all together and soften the edges. Next, let's work on her skin. So let's start down here on her leg. And I'm gonna use my skin, I'm gonna use E11, 21, double zero, triple zero, and E50. And for her cheeks, I'm gonna use R43, 32, and 30. So I'm going to start with my E11, and let's go down here and start on her legs. So I'm going to do this leg first, go right along here, and then I'm going to go real close to her other leg and under her hand. And then for this leg, we're going to go right along her shoe, and then up the back of her leg. And there's already some great dots there for us, so I'm just kind of going over those. And then let's also go underneath of her skirt. 
And then because her hand's here, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit on her leg up in the top. And then let's get our knee right here. And then I'm going to add E21. So with my E21, I like to just sit down on top of my E11, and I like to flick out away from it just a little bit. Just going right along here. I just want to soften the edge of that last color. And I'm going to go over here, get her lit knee. And we're going to add E00. Same thing, I want to just lay down on top of the E21 and then come out here to the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in this side too. I got a little bit of a line here, so I'm going to go back over this side a second time. And then I want to take my E50, because I just wanted to give it a little bit of a yellow tone. If you don't want to have that, don't put this on there. And we're just going to go right over the entire thing, trying a different skin tone today, like that. And then we'll go up here and we'll do her arm. So again, I'm going to start with my E11. And I'm going to do this back arm first, so let's do right underneath on the bottom, and then under her sleeve. And then for this hand, let's do a little dab on her thumb, and then we'll bring it along the bottom of her hand, and over this way. And do a little bit in the crook right here. And then we're going to add E21. So we want to start over here, lay down on your E11, and pull it up away from there. Same for this side. And then we'll add E00. And I'm going to fill this side in. And then over here, I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a little bit. We'll use our E000 over, or, yeah, E000 on this side. She's got a little bit more hand showing there. And then we'll fill it in with our E000. And I like to use this color to go over the entire thing. That will smooth out all the lines. Let's grab this side too, since there's a little bit over there. And then we'll take our E50 again and go over the entire thing. And this will help blend those colors together, too. All right, so let's go up here. We'll do our neck. So again, I've grabbed E11. And then E21. And then our E00. And then again over it with E50. All right, so now for her face, let's start again with E11. And I'm going to use this to go right along her bangs or her hairline. And because her face is kind of tipped down over here, I'm going to use this to come up over here by her sleeve. Then I'm going to grab E21. I'm going to use this color. I want to attach it to these over here. So we're going to go around the other side of her face. And then I want to flick away from this E11. And then we're going to add E00. And I don't worry if it's not blended all the way because I'm going to add cheek color and then I like to go back over it a second time. And this is E000. Okay, so for our cheeks we're going to add R43 first. And let's add, I'd like, I use these little dots that are here on her cheek as my guide. So I'm going to take my E43 kind of in the middle of those first two, or these two closest to the edge. And then I'm going to add R32. And 
and then I'm going to soften it with my R30. And I think I'll make this one a little bit pinker, so let's grab R43 again. Since this side's on the downside, it's going to be a little bit darker, so let's do a little... And this is R32. And then again, I'll soften that edge with my R30. Okay, so now let's grab E00. Oops, not this one. Grab the, right, grab the right one, Heather. So E00, and I'm just going to start here, and I want to bring this out past her cheek while going over these lines I have up here, and then back down this way and over this cheek. And then I'm going to add E000, and with this we're just going to pull it all the way across. This will help soften those lines yet again. And then I want to go over our entire face with my E50 to add that yellow tone. And again, if you don't want to have the yellow tone, just don't do this step. For her hair, let's use E59, 39, YR27, and YR24. I'm going to start with my um, E59. Let's start over here on these cute little curly cues she's got over here. I'm just going to go along the bottom and add a few little streaks, and there's already lines there, so I'm kind of following those. And let's go right out here towards the end, like that. And then it kind of curls back right here, so I'm going to take my pen, and there's some lines there. I'm just going to go down on this side. Okay, and then let's do the same thing over here for this one. Also, it kind of curls up over in here, so let's do a little bit right here, and then right here, it's coming around underneath of her, um, it looks like it kind of curls back towards her face, so let's go right in here, and this one's curling back around, so let's follow those lines. And we'll just work our way around. And I love it that you put, they put the lines on here because it kind of gives you a cheat. Okay, and then let's do for her bangs up here. Let's let me turn it a little bit. Oh, what I'm going to do right here. She's got a headband and then she's got a little patch of hair right here. And I, when I colored it the first time, I completely forgot this little section up here, so I'm going to kind of just put a few little slashes in here, following the lines that are already there. Then, let's do her bangs. And there's some little dips in here, so I'm just using those as my guide to put the darkest. And let's do this side over here. Let's see, what can we do over here? And again, there's some little dips, so I'm kind of using those and the lines that are already there as my guide. And let's see, right here where it's pulling away from her face. Let's do a little bit right here. Okay, then we're going to add E39. I'm going to start again over here, and I just want to add some more lines in here. So I'm just going to go right along the lines I already added, and I'm going to pull them up so it goes past where I did it the last time. Just work our way around to the other side. And then again, I want to do above this headband. And 
and then we'll just add some color around to the other side. And then we're going to grab YR27. Same thing, let's just add some more color. work our way over to the other side and I'm trying to leave some white in there because we still have another color to go and don't forget above the headband And then lastly, we're going to add our YR24, and you can leave some white if you like. I'm going to go ahead and just fill mine in, so I'm just going to brush across the entire thing. I can never get that white streak business to look great for me. Occasionally it works out, but usually I'm just like, oh, that looks so funky. Try not to go outside the lines, get a little crazy. Or on her face. Now I'm going to go back with my darkest color, which was E59, and just add a little bit of that dark back in there. Let's add a few little streaks on each one of these little curls. So let's do our red next. For that, we're going to use R35, RV14, 13, and 21. We're going to start with our R35, and let's do this headband first. So I'm going to pick a stripe. Let's do, since I colored this one here orange on accident, I'm going to start here. <laughs> so we'll do R35. I'm going to go ahead and color this one because there's not much there. Here's a little dab of it showing over here. And then for the little bow, let's do this end and there's not much space so I'm going to just go ahead and color that one in too and then we're just going to skip one and then there's a little knot let's bring this around over here and then there's a little bit of the knot over here so let's give this a line and then for this one let's do the end again and then skip one Then we're going to grab RV14, and I'm going to fill this top one in. And then I'm going to fill the rest in with my RV13. Let's hop down here and we will do her dress next. 
So again, let's start with our R35. And I'm going to start over here on this opposite sleeve. So she's got some little, um, a little ruffle here. So I'm going to take the little circles or half circles there and a ruffle and just paint those the RV35. And then I'm going to do the cuff of her shirt and then skip a, a line and do the next one. And then for this sleeve, same thing. She's got some little, um, well, I guess little folds there. I'm just going to go ahead and color those in. And then for her cuff, let's do right here. And then we'll skip one. And then we're going to do, so I did a fat one this time. I know I did this top one, so top on this one. Got to kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. Like that. And then let's do her bodice right here. So for her bodice, let's do this top part white, and then we'll do the next one. Skip one. And then there's a little bit of a ruffle right here, so let's put a dab of color right there. And then let's turn her around so we can get her the back of her dress. So then since there's a stripe right here, I'm going to make this the end of the stripe. And we'll make this white. We'll make this a stripe. And then this one. Like that. And then we'll make that white. And then again, here's those little um, pleats. So I'm going to go ahead and cover those in. Here, give those a little, the bigger ones, I'm going to leave a little room for some of the other color. Like that. Then we're going to grab RV14. So let's go ahead and start over here on this sleeve that we started with. And we just want to soften that edge. And then I'm going to have a little bit of this down here and some of these um, dots here. And then we'll add RV13. work our way around and lastly we'll use our RV21 to fill the rest of that space those lines in so let's go ahead and fill these little circles down here the rest of the way and then we're going to bring this one over here Cute. And let's hop down here and we'll also do her shoes. So again, I'm going to grab my R35 and she's got a little bit of her shoe showing over here on this side. And I want, she's got a little ruffle on here and then she's got this little band right here that I'm going to make a different color. So over on this one, make sure not to color that band. You're going to do the top one and a little bit on this bow, the little knot thing. And then we're going to do this space right here underneath that little accent part. And then there's a tip of her shoe right here that we want to color in. Like that. Okay, so this one we're going to do the bow. And then I want to bring this color along the bottom of her shoe. And up here to this ruffle. And then we're going to add RV14. So this one I'm going to cover in this bottom section. And add a little bit to the bow. Soften that edge. And then we'll do RV13. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this one in over here. Let's add a little bit to these. And then our shoe. And then lastly, we'll fill the rest in with our RV21.
All right, so on this basket here, it's got these flowers, and then it's got this little thing with like the little ruffles on it. So I'm gonna say maybe she has like a piece of fabric in there, and then she put the flowers in there. And I'm going to color it with our reds. So I'm gonna take my R35 first, and there's some of those ruffles showing over here on this side. So I'm just gonna give them a little dot in each one of those little ruffle spaces. And then same for this little section here. I'm gonna give each one of those little ruffles that hang down a little dot. And then I wanna use this up here around some of these colors, or these flowers up here. That, and then I'm gonna go with RV14. And then RV13. And then RV21 to soften everything. So for all the other stripes that are white, we're gonna add N0 to those. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in the accents on her shoes. that and then on her dress let's do the stripe and I'm not going to go all the way I just want to add a little bit where it's going to be darkest and I'm going to add a little bit to these little circles down here and then let's do right here and the same for her little hair bow. So let's go just a little bit along the edge. So let's hop over here and do the leaves in this basket. For that, we're gonna use YG 97 and 41. I'm gonna start with my um, YG 97, and I just wanna put a little dab in the center of each of these leaves. So they're kind of hard to see, so you gotta kind of look around in here. There's one, let's see, how about this one? This looks like maybe a leaf right here, right here. Mm, I got that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my YG41 to those and I wanna fill them the rest of the way in. And here's a couple little ones. Let's go ahead and fill those in. Let's see. Okay, I don't see any more at the moment. So let's, oh, here's one right here. I'm gonna color this one with my YG97. Okay, but I also wanna fill in some of this space between the flowers. So I'm gonna start with my YG97 and I'm just going to dot some of this green around each flower and fill some of that space. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my YG90 or YG41. I just want to fill some of this space in here. So it looks like it has some greenery in the basket. For the flowers, let's do BV08 and BV13. I'm gonna start with my BV08, and I'm just gonna give each center of the flower a little swirl of color. And then there's a few of these bigger dots. I'm gonna go ahead and dot those. And then I wanna fill the rest of the flowers in with my BV13. I'm going to go right over the top of that BV08. That flower got a little pink on it, so let's make sure to get that. And then I'm going to go back with my BV08 and just put those swirls kind of in the middle again.
Let's hop down here and do the wheels on our bike. For that, we're going to use W9, 7, 5, and 3. I'm going to start with my W9. Now let's start over here on this wheel. And we're going to flick a little bit of that away from that bicycle part. And then I want to do the same thing on this side. And I'm trying to be careful going next to the bicycle because we're going to paint it a light blue. And I don't want to get the black on there. That will not come off. Okay, I think I'll bring, because this is behind, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. Okay, then I want to do where it's touching the ground. So let's do right here. And then bring it up this way a little bit. Okay, and then for this one over here, same thing. Let's do where it's touching the ground. And then up here where it's connecting to the, or it's touching the bicycle wheel, is touching the, the fork, I guess this is a fork, forgot what it's called there. That, okay, so now we're going to add W7. I'm going to go ahead and fill this part in. Same with this side. And then we want to soften the edge of these. And then over here, same thing, we want to soften the edges. W5. I'm going to go ahead and fill this back side in. And then we want to fill them in the rest of the way with our W3. Okay, like that. Then let's see, we have um, this little handle right here on the end of our bike. So let's go, it says W7, so I'm going to start with that. And let's do around here, a little bit right here, and then I'm going to fill it in with my W3. And then she's got a little bit of a handlebar showing here, so let's grab our N1, our N0, and I'm just going to go ahead and color that in. And I've missed a piece of her little hand over here, so I'm going to grab my E11, and right above this handlebar, right here, it looks like you can see a little bit of her arm. So I'm going to just go ahead and color that in. For the bike, the actual frame of the bike, let's use BG4553 and B00. So I'm going to start with my B45. Now let's do the back back here first. So it's underneath of her dress, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And then where it touches her shoe, I'll bring it out down here. And a little bit away from her shoe. And then over here, again where it's touching her shoe. And there's a little bit of the other fork showing right here. I'm going to just fill that in. And then I'm going to go with um, BG53. So let's just soften these edges. I got a 
little bit of a bike showing over here still that I didn't get. So we'll get that now. And then I want to fill it in with my B00. back one okay so I forgot to do this pedal right here and this one and then there's some kind of it's not her shoe but there's something right here so I'm just gonna color that black just because <laughs> I don't have any idea what that is. So we're gonna use W9 and W7. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this back one in with my W9. And then for this petal here, I'm gonna do underneath of her shoe. And then for this thing, I don't have any idea what it is. I'm gonna color right next to her shoe black. And then I'm gonna take my W7 and fill the rest of the way in. That leaves us with a basket in the ground. For that, we're going to use E44, 43, and 42. Now let's do this basket first. So I'm going to start with my E44, and I'm just going to use that to draw on the lines that are already on the basket. And then I'm going to go a little bit up here where the leaves are touching it just to darken that up just a little bit. And then I'm going to add E43. So same thing, I just want to go over those lines a little bit. And then I want to fill it the rest of the way in with my E42. So you can see that little basket there. Okay, so now we're going to go do the ground. So again, I'm going to start with my E44. And let's go, she's got some little mud splats right here, I think. So let's use that as our guide for where we're going to start. So let's go like this. And then over here. E43. And then E42. And then I like to go back with my E44 and add the shadow for that dark, dark part in again. So there is our beautiful on the road Tilda all colored up. Isn't she cute? And then again, here is my finished card. So on my finished card, I used some Spica glitter pen in her hair to add some glitter. And then I used some um, Rangers or some Stickles, Stardust in, on all these flowers to give them some sparkle. And then this little heart here is popped up on some pop dots. And then you get these little puffy stickers in your kit so that you can put those on there. And then this heart, I added some um, adhesive to the, the craft mat here. And this heart is loose. So it like moves around in here, but I just made sure that I attached the corners on the, the corner on the side and then I left room on, in between. I actually held this on the back. I held it right here on the front and then put the tape, the glue on the back of this section and then smooshed it on the card. And then this is just left however you want to move it around and stick it on there. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I will make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.